My name is uh, Chris Green. I retired at uh, Sergeant First Class. I was in the Army for 27 years. I went to Tikrit, Iraq. The first time I was 35. We were the 854th Engineer Battalion, Detachment 3. That's the guide dog. Whenever you know, we had a formation, we had a guide dog bear that held it in front of the, the uh, formation. Well, a friend of mine has it now, so once a year we get together and take a picture with that. We have a yearly, a yearly get together up in the woods of New York, and uh, we get together and get drunk, talk about going to Iraq. We stayed in Camp Virginia, uh, Kuwait, for three weeks. Uh, it was, it was the middle of nowhere. It was the middle of. I didn't understand what that term meant until I went to Camp Virginia, Kuwait. You could see the horizon all around you. It was flat desert all around. Uh, we had just come from New Jersey. We wound up in uh, Tikrit, Iraq, which is in north central Iraq, north of Baghdad, south of Mosul. Tikrit, Iraq is actually Saddam Hussein's hometown, so that was a pretty big deal. Uh, we stayed in, we, we took over one of his palace complexes. And that's where we stayed. And there was a main building in the middle of it that was actually his residence, apparently. Uh, that on the first day of the war, just got you know the, the Air Force put a hole in the roof for him and you know blew the whole thing up. And uh, we, we wanted to go in there, go souvenir hunting, and see what we could dig up. Um, so we you know we went in there and uh, there was I don't even know I don't, you can't tell what room was what. It was all rubble and blown up and then looted and then you know vandalized or whatever. But there was uh, in some decorative inlays or something about you know two foot big you know trapezoid shapes, decorative stuff on the walls. So I thought it was cool, I wanted to take it home. We weren't allowed to take that stuff home, so I popped it off the wall and uh, brought it back to my room. I didn't know what the hell I was gonna do with it, but uh, uh, when I was in the bazaar a couple days later or whatever, I, there was a guy selling paintings he made, so I bought this cool painting, it was neat. It was just like this, he told me it was a prayer. It's like an Arabic prayer or whatever, but it's done like this. It was cool, it, it was still a cool painting. And I think I only paid like 10 bucks for it. So I bought that and put that inlay behind it and put a piece of plywood on top of it so I could just stick it in the mail and when, it, when the mail got searched they wouldn't find it and that's how I got it home. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Now as you know uh, September 11th kind of was what lit the fuse for us to invade Iraq, that's a long story, but uh, uh, one of our, one of the soldiers that I served with there at home in Alpha Company 854th uh, was also a New York City fireman. His name was Fred Hill. Uh, he was killed in the World Trade Center. Uh, one of the things he always did was, uh, he, whenever we went somewhere all over the world, all over the country, he had an American flag, three by five American flag, took it out and take a picture with him. You know, every, he always came on every uh, annual training we did. And his wife sent it with us, with, with one of the guys, his wife sent it. So we took a, a picture of our, of our unit on September 11th in Iraq with, with the flag. That, that flag also went to Afghanistan later, another one of our guys. Great unit history. They named the uh, they named the reserve center after him too. Back in home. This is um, a meritorious unit accommodation that was our unit earned in Iraq, actually. So it's a unit award, so you get to wear it forever. That's combat action badge that I got in Afghanistan. We have vehicle driver badge and expert pistol badge, awards and service ribbons.